Hello one. This is Alpha One here. And this is Blank Dream. Now, a friend of mine wanted me to play this game, so this is why I'm playing it. So, uh Yeah, let's get started. Thinking back, it was a boring life. I wouldn't say it was entirely devoid of enjoyment. But if you asked whether I'd live the same life again, I'd absolutely refuse without a doubt. In fact, if I had to say, I've come to hate it all. I wish my life had never even existed. Wow, that's kind of a dark wish. More or less. And so I, Mishiro Usui, never having a 17th birthday, threw myself into this lake. Oh, come on! It's going to be one of these games. Oh, wow. Okay. Where is this? Oh, what was I just... Right as the girl gained consciousness, she realized she didn't remember who she was. Okay. Um, I can run. That's, uh, that's cool, right? Yeah. I can, I can save. Huh. Does, does this thing do something? The mirror shows no reflection. Oh, it's going to be one of these games. Girl sees herself in the mirror. Let's talk to it. <laughs> Hello, me. I am you, and you are me. It's a mirror. Obvious, right? Oh, I've lost my memories, right? Don't worry me, I know how to get them back. Now look into the eyes of your reflection. <laughs> Let's do it. A familiar place appeared before the girl's eyes. Packed with black clothes with frills. The girl felt that she'd like to wear these clothes, clothes like this. So this is my room. Uh, match accessories, match girl's taste, blah, blah, blah. Familiar computer went to power it, but it stopped. School bag rested on the desk. The girl took out a notebook from it. Kikanumia Academy Class 1 to Mishiro Usui. Her picture is on the cover. Sorry, that was loud. Um, a familiar dresser, a girl felt makeup wasn't worth the effort. Fell unconscious or to sleep here. Look at this teddy bear. Look at this teddy bear. The teddy bear stares with round eyes. The girl felt that this bear was very important to her. Okay, that's just telling me, that just, that's just giving it away right there. Uh, okay, so apparently that bear is important. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to remember that bear. <laughs> so, what do I do? What, what do I do? Do I have an inventory? Hit. Him. What, what, what do? What? I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, press every key? I guess? Uh... Oh! I do have an inventory! So load save file, items, view items in your possession. Do I have any items? No, I don't have any items. Or any keys, from th for that matter. Alright, so what do I do? A small knife is in the desk drawer. It felt, fam it felt familiar in the girl's hands. I don't like where this is going. I got a knife. I got a knife. Do I stab the teddy bear? Um, uh, blah blah blah. Teddy bear important to her. Blah blah blah. Uh, there's nothing I can do. Um, I I got a knife. 
Oh! No! I'm not gonna... I'm gonna have to do it, ain't I? YOLO! The girl plunged the knife into her throat. Is that game over? Did I already lose? Congratulations, Alpha! You have graduated to being a noob. Wait, what? Oh, I was supposed to do that! The girl came to, again, understanding before the mirror. Though she still felt a vigorous feeling in her hands, there was no trace of a knife wound. Welcome... <clears throat> Welcome back! How did it feel, killing yourself in the mirror? <laughs> What's with that look? Got a problem? Come on, I taught you how to get your memories back. Huh? Ah. Mushiro Usui, 16. I drowned myself in the lake. See? Only partial. But you remembered. Remembered your name and how you died. Look for the mirrors in this world. And then break them! All across this world are mirrors with your reflection. They reflect your memories. And see, you see how to break them, right? You just finished yourself off in the mirror. Break the mirrors. You'll get back your memories, and at the same time, grant your wish. Once you break all your mirrors, you'll have it all back, and you can realize your wish. That's the way it works. My wish. Got it? Don't just look. You have to break them. That's what's granting you your wish. That's what granting your wish entails. Is this whole RPG about killing myself? Oh, God. All right. Why is that, you ask? Remember that part of yourself? Now find it. Now find the mirrors. I, I don't remember why it came to that. I remember that strong wish I had. To make it so my life never even existed. Just as Mashiro regained a piece of her memory, she felt as if she'd lost something important. Uh, oh! A save. Right! Where is this? Huh? Are you new here? <laughs> I need a, I need a voice this person. Uh, uh, are, are you new here, maybe? Whoa, I picked a heck of a moment to be here. Who are you? Oh, sorry, sorry. Here I am getting all excited. You just came to this world, right? So I bet you're confused. I'm Yuzu. I'm sure you can't remember your name, but don't fret. Everybody's like that first. I can remember my name. Huh? You know your name? Hmm. Mishiro, is it? That's weird. It took me so long for me to remember my name. Where is this? This is known as the Mirror World. It seems to be a world for souls with strong wishes and for attachments. I think it's one of those places between life and the afterlife, maybe. I just found myself here one day, so I can't tell you anything concrete. Souls with strong wishes? But the weird thing is, while I remember having died with some strong wish, I can't actually remember that wish. You have any ideas, Mashiro? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I remember my wish. What? You remember your wish, and you know how to grant it? Hold up, Mishiro. Just how blessed are you? Gosh, the world's not fair, even in death. Well, anyway, if you're going to walk around, be careful of the evil spirits wandering here. Because they'll be jealous of a soul who can grant their wish, no doubt. Oh boy! <laughs> so it's gonna be one of these games. <laughs> oh, I'm so dead then. <laughs> I'm gonna save right here. 
because maybe this game involves choices. I'm gonna run around you, Yuzu. Na 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 na. All right. So what do I do? It seems unopenable to the point it could be mistaken for an oddly designed wall. Oh, so it's an oddly designed wall. All right. Um, realm of Beauty. For whom does the brush dance? Uh huh. What about in here? Realm of Green here. Let that meeting be a light of hope. That sounds lovely. Huh. Can I look at these things? Oh, I'll take one. I got an axe! That scared me. Ooh. I'm just gonna save. Uh, do I just go up here? Hello? The stone statue quietly looms. Uh-huh, what's over here? Oh! The watchman is a fool who can only judge by number. Can't he at least tell the real thing from a fake? Oh! Okay, so I need an axe, so I'll just take one. Oh my god, that statue has red eyes, I just realized that. Uh... Here, I have a decorative axe. <laughs> Can I go in here? Bronze door is locked. Do I need a key? This tree's in the way. Axe it! Too thick to- uh, What? Uh, what about this tree? Chopped a very small tree. Axe's blade broke, reduce, rendering it useless. Trees don't normally have blood. Am I playing a horror game? What'd you get me into? Uh, the bear! The bear, 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 bear! The teddy bear stares with brown eyes. Cute. <laughs> cute. Very cute. I hear a fire. Oh! Fireplace quietly lights up the room. Oh, I can have a lantern! Yeah, lantern! Mishiro heard the fireplace go out. The room was swallowed by darkness. Um. Oh, 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 oh. Jeez. Don't do that to me. I feel like... Nope, 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 can I burn the tree? Ah, there we go. Sweet. It works. The tree burned fiercely. Oh. This music is so ominous. The tree burnt down to ashes. Nice. I don't know how I feel about playing a morbid game. This is not, this guy contradicting you to the purpose of the channel. But I'm actually kind of curious though. Oh my god, the music got intense. I'm scared. I need an adult. <laughs> Help. <laughs> The mirror shows Mishiro's reflection. Again. 
six months ago, Mirror Lake. Thinking back, it was a boring life. I wouldn't say it was entirely devoid of enjoyment. Yeah, we've read this. But if you asked whether I'd live the same life again, I absolutely refuse, without a doubt. In fact, if I had to say, I've come to hate it all. I wish my life had never even existed. More or less. Mirror Lake. Might as well just test that rumor. Mirror Lake, a lake in a desolate park. About 20 minute train ride from home. There was an old rumor about it. It was set- Oh no, don't cut off! Hey! Nice weather! Or hey! No, I don't know. I don't know. Is it- who, Who's saying this? Oh, so it is a boy. Alright. Hey! Nice weather! I'm talking to you. No one else here, is there? Who would you be? Oh, just a passing high school student. But I noticed you staring at the lake with uh, that hollow look. There's always a chance, so I thought I should call out to you. That's unnecessary. I'm not going to jump in or anything. That's good to hear. But there are strange rumors about Mirror Lake. Stuff like it being a gate between our world and the afterlife. Thank you! <laughs> Thank you, mystery man! For fill in the blank. Myself, I just see it being true to its name, reflecting the park's natural scenery like a mirror. You're probably thinking, this guy sure talks a lot, huh? You see, I'm going on talking to you to make sure you don't get any ideas. I said I'm not jumping in. Well, that's good. Oh, I should mention, I'm Ayato Hinohara. Okay, finally. Now you, ha now I can call you something. I came to paint the park today. I'm not just trying to... <laughs> I'm not just trying to flirt. Why tell me your name? Are you... <laughs> Are you flirting? I just said I'm not. Introductions are the first step to breaking down barriers. So what's your name? I'm not telling you. Yeah, that's why I figured. So you actually did come to paint. You're a spiteful one, huh? Did you think I was carrying this clunky easel for show? Not really. Oh well. If you're not here for suicide, you should stick around for a bit. I get absent-minded when I'm painting, but still, it's lonely when no one's around. Any items which Mashiro has in the present, she does not have in the past, and thus cannot use. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Ayao's canvas. There's nothing on it yet. Can I talk to you? I have a bit of a connection to Mirror Lake, so my feet just carried me here. I have a fe- I have a feeling... That some that I don't know. What was what, what this? Rental boats. It's just a sign. Mashiro occasionally saw people on boats. Though his boats are I don't know. <laughs> I can't see any boats. Um, can I jump in? I always focused on, on his painting and isn't looking at Mashiro. Oh, way to make it easy for me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. It'll surely be painful. Mashiro threw herself into me. You're like, no. Oh, God. The game had to give me a hard time about it. No. Ah. All right. It's just a game. Shiro came to, again standing before the mirror, though she still felt like water in her nose. Her clothes were not even slightly wet. Yes, I met Ayato at Mirror Lake that day. I'm starting to remember a little more about myself. Alright. Just as Mashiro regained a piece of her memory, she felt as if she'd lost something important. Okay. What's this? Bronski! Let's save. Alright, it's all the memory. Let's get going. Sweet. Oh, oh I'm gonna end the episode right there.
Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to become part of the Alpha Force today. I'm going to, I'm going to go sit in the corner of my room and cry to myself. <laughs> Farewell, everyone. Oh, God.